Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 6th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we had quite the volatile day, and the good news is, is we're getting some relief here this morning, getting a nice little bounce back up. This, however, will um, really end up being more of a modest relief back to the upside, at least at the open, even though we're getting a substantial gap up. So how about we take a look at what happened in the overnight session? There was quite a little bit of volatility and I would expect that we will continue to see substantial volatility in the market. But if we take a look at what happened in Asian markets last night, Asian markets had a really nice bounce back up with the Nikkei surging back up at 10.23% as their volatility uh, remains uh, the catalyst for a lot of this whipsawing that we're seeing in the market. Only Hong Kong was down last night, the tech heavy sector down uh, 51 points or point. 31%. Everything else was in the green. Here in uh, European markets, we have um, a little bit of a mix going on, and it has improved so far this morning. They were uh, down across the board here um, uh, with, uh, within about the last half hour, but we've seen the DAX um, move back up into the green, modest green up 0.10%. Um, we've got uh, the FTSE up 0.12% and the CAC being down 0.25% at the moment. And then if we take a look at U.S. futures, nice little bounce going there in the futures market. Dow futures are reaching pretty close to the high point of the night, up over 300 points at the moment as we progress toward the morning open, but green across the board with a nice rebound in the tech sector 0.74% uh, push back to the upside. If we take a look at oil, boy, oil um, is having some rough times here. In fact, um, uh, West Texas crude is, is at a low that we haven't seen in a long time here. But oil futures up 39 cents this morning, trying to rebound a little bit. It's 73.33 a barrel. Brent is up 34 cents at 76.67 a barrel. And natural gas is trying to rebound ever so slightly. When we look at UNG, this has just been failure after failure along the downtrend here and setting some new recent lows down here. Um, only up, uh, let's see, uh, about six cents. Um, a share on natural gas so far this morning. So trying to hang in there. Now, precious metals, also a lot of volatility in those. If we take a look at GLD, GLD bounced back up after selling off strongly yesterday. Right now at this moment of $8.30 an ounce on gold, trying to pick back up. Silver is just slightly lower here this morning after um, man, a big gap lower and bouncing um, um, intraday yesterday. Um, trying to pick back up here just a little bit. Copper, copper um, a little bit lower on the day. Platinum and palladium also trying to relieve a bit to the upside. After a whopper of a sell-off yesterday in cryptos, Bitcoin is also trying to recover here this morning, up about $1,921 a coin, but that's coming in um, just barely above the 55,000 level. So quite a heavy route yesterday in uh, Bitcoin. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Well, if you are a Bitcoin trader anyway. Let's take a look at um, our bonds this uh, morning. Our bonds this morning uh, coming in just a little bit improved, a little bit higher. The two-year bonds up 3.98%. 10-year bonds 
at 3.84% and the 30-year bonds at 4.11% as we work to try and stabilize this wild volatility that we've seen here in the market. So let's take a look. Um, well, actually, we've kind of covered everything. So how about we settle in and buckle up? Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember, although we're getting a relief rally, we have to be really careful with this whole knee-jerk reaction trading. A gap up like we're getting this morning in the Dow could easily whipsaw. So be very, very careful. Plan your trading very carefully as we kind of shake off some of this wild volatility, wild volatility that we saw yesterday. I'm a little bit tongue-tied this morning for some reason. Let's take a look at um, our diamonds here. If the bulls can continue to find that inspiration here in the chart, notice that we've, we caught this little, not well, not even a little support. We dropped hard here. Um, caught a support in the chart and then rallied back yesterday. But if you take a look, we've got quite a bit of resistance um, up here in the chart. So we could find significant resistance right here in this area, noticing that this trend line that we had uh, really broke a long time ago to the upside could actually provide a little bit of price resistance and we could get a little bit of double whammy resistance right in there. If we can pass through this area here in the chart, then I would look for that possibility that we could stretch up here to this next area, fairly significant resistance in the chart. And that would be a potential gap fill um, on the day if we can push up into there. And that's a pretty big move. Um, beyond that point, well, beyond that point, we're gonna have to deal with that 50 day moving average as resistance here in the chart and to see if we can move beyond that point. Now keep in mind a very common pattern in the market would be some kind of rally back into that 50 day moving average and then a follow through rollover that takes us back down here to the 200 day moving average. Certainly cannot take that off the table so if the bears were to find inspiration just today and we reject right in this area then that possibility that we could come back down remember w bottom formations are very common in the market we see them all the time so even as we relieve back up in this chart don't rule out the possibility that we could retest down in this area and maybe even check out that 200 day moving average here on the diamonds let's take a look at our s p 500 really rough day in the s p 500 we pulled sharply lower we didn't quite come into this little area of price support we tested bounced off of this area we um, notice it's a little bit choppy in there but as we push back up big strong move in a lot of the big tech um, giants out there yesterday so we pushed up into some resistance in the chart punched right on through and we're coming up here to this next level of price resistance now the question is if we break through here then we may test this area up in here. So we've got that zone of resistance right in here between this area and just above for the gap fill in the market. Now, every reason to believe that we could stretch on up and maybe fill that gap beyond that point, then we've got to come up into here and then up into this major area of resistance and of course, this potential downtrend in the chart. At the same time, we're going to have to deal with that 50 day moving average here. This is a watershed event here as we fell off, but if we can squeeze that rally back up into this area, 
of the chart, then we do run that risk that we could roll this right back over and we may eventually see that 200 day if the bears find any reason to stay on top of this. And remember, August tends to be one of the toughest months of the year for the market. So we may struggle here for a while. And don't assume that the buying the dip is going to zoom us straight back up to these highs. There's some problems around the world, not to mention the geopolitical issues that we continue to see getting worse. Let's take a look at our QQQ. If the bulls were to continue to find inspiration here today, well then a push right up into this level would fill that gap on that breakdown but we have been very very bearish here in the qqq falling to its 200 day moving average and beyond yesterday if we take a look we dropped right through the 200 day and then reversed in that bounce back up and we've got a long ways to go to make it back up there to that 50 day moving average so if we can push up here fill that gap then we can start thinking about pushing through up here into that level up here toward that downtrend here in the chart to see if we can break back through and just keeping in mind that our 50 day moving average is all the way up here we'd really have to have a major stretch to get us up there certainly possible but just be really careful and watchful for those resistance areas and if the bears were to find any kind of inspiration here today a push back down we might find some price support right in here if we were to push back down in that chart, pushing on beyond that point, you can see that real possibility then that we would retest these lows down here and maybe have another look at that 200 day moving average to see if it'll hold us as support. And then of course, IWM, IWM also having um, a big gap and bounce yesterday pushing back up you can see if we can break through this level right here this morning certainly every reason to believe we could we've got a break back above that uh, trend line here which is a little bit of a double whammy right there and if we take a look then we might be able to move on up and fill this gap beyond that gap move up into this resistance area of the chart and then of course we have a really big gap beyond that that we would have to stretch through um, back to the upside now we want to keep in mind that we went through the 50-day moving average all the way to the 200 all at once and as we come back up and fill that gap we're going to be running into that 50 here in the chart so watch that closely we've got some work here to do before we can really um, uh, sound the all clear sign in the market. If we take a look at our VIX, my goodness, our VIX, big pop yesterday, running all the way up here into the uh, upper 60s. Um, we haven't seen that level in a long, long time. And uh, obviously we can go higher, but we haven't seen that level for a long, long time. Pulling back yesterday was nice. Uh, in that relief but remember we've got an area right in here that could serve as a little bit of price support we didn't quite make it back down to that yesterday so watch that carefully if we can break back down below there then i'm going to suggest right in here could also bring in some price support in the 30s and then pushing all the way back down into here into that mid 20s area of the chart if that VIX really sees that pullback. But obviously, one of the things, if you noticed yesterday, all of your options were a lot higher priced because of the implied volatility change. That's not gonna change a whole lot today. That implied volatility is gonna to continue to be pretty wild and uh, move us around quite a bit. For example, when I started this video, we were up $330 in the Dow futures. We're now up 270 just to give you an idea how volatile the market still is. There's a lot of things that will have to work out in here. So keep in mind what we'll have to worry about as we pull back in this chart is if we were to hold a higher low. As I mentioned over here, it was these higher lows that created the real selling coming into the market. As this pulls back, if we can pull back into here and hold some of these support levels in the chart, 
hold a higher low, then more trouble could still be coming in the market. So keep that in mind. We need to break this trend back down and really start seeing some easing in that volatility. If we take a look at our T20s, our T21-22 indicator, we buried the T21-22 indicator down here in the uh, bullish reversal zone. Even with that relief rally yesterday, we remained down here and very near the low of that pattern. So we've got a lot of work to come back up. Notice that we do have this little hooking pattern right here. It's barely, barely, barely visible. But as you can see, trying to show that relief, my guess is what the uh, what we're seeing in the futures right now is we're going to get a nice little relief bounce up here. But just keep in mind, as we relieve, that's all it is. We relieve back up and we start checking out some of those major moving averages, some of those big resistance levels in the chart. So watch that carefully. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to zoom all the way back to the top but we certainly have plenty of opportunity to move to the top if we can find that inspiration. And then if we take a look at T2108, well, T2108 really shook things up yesterday, uh, dropping hard, but you'll notice at the end of the day, we ended up holding on to some support here down around the 30s, only about 30% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. A relief back up, the first place I would be looking would be uh, that 50% area to see if we can start coming up in here, re-engaging uh, something at 50% or above in that chart. And then keeping in mind, this little lower high in here created a little problem. And we've got this little downtrend in here that could also create just a little bit of resistance as we try to move back up. Our T2107, big strong move to the downside. Um, yesterday zooming lower unfortunately we broke through this support in the chart and didn't recover it by the end of the day so any relief back to the upside we'll be looking in here to see if we can push that back up get back above that 50 percent area here in the chart and start coming up testing these levels um in the above 50 percent see if we can break some trends and then we'll start to look for these relief areas up in here in the 55 to 60 area of the t2107 index if we look at t2101 t2101 um, saw uh, that breadth increase on the bearish wave yesterday so the bears were definitely in control here on that side and even though we had a nice little bounce or relief back up I wouldn't really count that as a, a big change in the market if we um, continue to see a relief to the upside what we want to see is we want to see T2101 continuing to extend to the upside on the bullish wave but the last thing we need right now is to show some weakness in breadth as we rally back that might embolden the bears. So watch that carefully for today. If we take a look at our um, earnings calendar, well, let's look at our economic calendar here first. Our economic calendar, we've got uh, a very light day. In fact, we've got this really light week, not much going on overall. But today we've got an international trade in goods number. They're expecting that number to come in with just a slight improvement here, uh, albeit continuing to be a negative, uh, negative 72 and a half billion on trade goods and services. But that's an improvement from the negative 75.1. If we look beyond that, we've got some bond uh, announcements of bond auction and a uh, uh, on that three year. And that's kind of it for the day. Very, very light on that economic calendar. And as we look forward into Thursday, we've got mortgage applications. We get the petroleum status, a couple of bond auctions and a consumer credit report. Pretty darn light on the day. So if we have an opportunity to relieve, 
this would be a good opportunity on the economic calendar, not too much on there to be worrisome. Now, what we do have to worry about a little bit is earnings. And we've got quite a few earnings here today. We're going to ramp up and things are going to get a little bit wild on those earnings reports. We've got Caterpillar reporting this morning. By the way, I, there's no way I can cover all of these. So make sure you check the link just below the title of the video. If you click on that, it'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get this full list of notables. So Caterpillar making a nice little pop here. That's helping out the Dow this morning. Watch that carefully. We're going to see from AD&T. Um, we're going to catch a report there. We've got, um, um, we've got, uh, whoops. Hmm, I'm going to have to check that um, symbol. Um, Baxter, Baxter will be in there uh, this morning. We've got um, EXPD that will be in there. Um, we've got GFS in there this morning. We've got um, the Hyatt Hotels that will be reporting. Um, MPC is in there. We're going to hear from Molson's. Um, let's get the right symbol here. Um, looks like they're trying to bounce up in this whipsaw. This was still setting up in a potential upside trade, but that big drawdown yesterday pulled it low. Now watching this, we may have that opportunity that could pop this alert in here and still be a good potential trade. Um, so watch that closely. We're also going to hear from things like Uber here this morning. Looks like that's trying to go a little bit higher. So keep an eye on that. Um, this afternoon, we're going to hear from quite a few companies as well, like Amgen. Be paying attention to that. AAOI will be reporting this afternoon. We're going to hear from Halo. We've got uh, GoPro reporting this afternoon. We're going to hear from Mosaic. We're going to hear from SKY. We've got TOST in there. We've got UPST in there today. We're going to hear from Win Casinos. So lots of reports this afternoon. Now, one thing I will say is probably not the the giant market moving type reports but this is going to be really important um, to see some good numbers here if we're going to continue to relieve to the upside um, and this bounce back up if these numbers aren't great then um, we could find um, those bears being emboldened so watch that carefully let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel a lot. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. I know it gets monotonous doing that day after day after day, but I really do appreciate the, the support of the effort that it takes to put these videos out every day. So thank you so much who, uh, to everyone who kindly supports um, that effort. I, I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up for today. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market because the volatility is likely to remain extremely high and we're going to see some odd pricing. If you noticed yesterday, really wide bid ask spreads in, in the market. Um, institutions are working to protect themselves as well as the market makers in this volatility. So be careful here, don't over trade and just really avoid this idea that by the dip, I've got to rush in and spend a whole bunch of money, assuming that the market's going to zoom back to the upside. I personally don't think we're gonna see that. I think we're gonna see a bit of a relief rally and then we may struggle here for a while 
to find enough um, influence in the market to keep that rally going. So be very, very careful. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks and please keep in mind that as we look at these, you're gonna to have to uh, plan your trades very, very carefully and uh, be prepared, be prepared for just about anything as we continue to whipsaw. First off, let's take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks out there. What is really interesting is that those defensive sector stocks held up really well yesterday while everything else was drawing down. These old, boring, dividend-paying companies did a pretty good job of holding up. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Little pullback yesterday in here, coming back into trend, possible support. Look for that next opportunity for Coke to push on higher. All-time highs here in Coke. Let's go to a weekly so you can see that here in the chart. All-time highs, Coke looking really, really good and every reason to believe that could continue higher. We can take a look at PepsiCo. Now, PepsiCo had a little bit more of a harsh pullback yesterday, but it was also quite extended in that move from last week. So coming back into trend, coming back into a little bit of price support, bouncing back up, I'd be keeping a close eye on that. If you take a look at uh, things like Schmuckers, Smuckers had a really good day yesterday, pushing on up, following this upside trend. We're continuing to look very good there. Any rest or pullback that comes back holds on to some support and trend. I'd be keeping an eye on that. We had Hershey um, doing quite well, trying to move to the upside um, this morning. And you can see had a little bit of a pullback to try and find some support and trend but maybe turning back around. So a lot of these defensive sector stocks looking good. Colgate Palmolive had a little bit of a pullback, but doggone it, nothing in there that would suggest bearishness on the day. Um, if we take a look at XLP, XLP, the consumer staples sector, showing um, a pretty rough pullback yesterday, but come writing right back into support support holding here potential upside trend you can look at a lot of the stocks in that area um, in that sector of the market looking pretty good and then of course if we take a look at utilities utilities had a pretty rough day yesterday and i warned sometimes when we really get into selling we can draw these kind of things down but we found that trend we're still holding in there if we get some kind of a rebound Look for that opportunity for that to push right back on up here in um, XLU. So keep a close eye there. Um, stocks that had a little bit rougher time. Uh, some of the techs really broke some levels in the chart. But I got to tell you, IBM, IBM holding in there pretty nicely overall. And I think there is a chance here on IBM that we could bounce right back up here. Notice we found a little bit of price support in this area of the chart we've got a little resistance now to be worried about but if we can push on back up here maybe hold a higher low we might be able to resume back to the upside here in the chart when i look at a lot of the tech stocks out there i have some major concerns although microsoft had a huge bounce back up yesterday. Notice here in this chart, I'm gonna to go to the moving averages. We're still underneath our 200 day moving average and we could find some resistance in here. Of course, lots of resistance above. Notice our short term moving averages are crossing down through the 50. Not a good sign there for Microsoft. Google um, also showing some major pressure here, trying to bounce um, near its 200. Short-term moving averages crossing down through the 50. So as we rally back, be really cognizant of these resistance areas. We could easily set up the next short in those charts as we move down. And remember, Google losing an antitrust um, lawsuit um, yesterday. Not a good sign for some of those big tech giants. And then, of course, if we look at stocks like NVIDIA, had a really strong rally back, but you want to notice all of our short-term moving average have already crossed over through um, uh, that 50-day moving average. So as we push back up, we're going to run into big areas of resistance here, and not only price, but in technicals 
and any rally back up could be that next opportunity to find the short trade there in NVIDIA. So lots of potential short opportunities here in the market with a little bit of relief back to the upside. Take a look at Cisco now. Cisco, whoops. Cisco had a really ugly sell-off, breaking to uh, some lows here in the market. So once again, any rally bounce back up here into some of these resistance areas of the chart, I'd be watching for that potential rollover. Now you will have to keep in mind that these will be reporting, and of course those reports could change everything here, but Cisco not looking so good um, overall in the market. Let's take a look at a little bit of the oil sector. Um, oil had a nice little bounce back yesterday trying to find some support here in the chart but if we take a look at some of these stocks in here there's a lot of pain in this region now MPC you can see reporting here today trying to push up in that chart lots of resistance to deal with watch those closely if we find some pressure and start rolling back over in some of these resistance areas in the chart looking at the moving averages here on MRO found that 50 or that 200 day bounced off of it but notice as we push back up in here we're going to run into a downtrend resistance and a technical resistance up in here if we continue to see this demand destruction in the market there could be some serious pain in um, some of these stocks so watch closely fang reporting yesterday but obviously not getting a whole lot of love out of that and that potential downtrend and resistance here in that chart so it's showing some major pressure along those lines if we look at our financials our financials also had a pretty rough day yesterday selling off strongly from this double topping type of pattern right down through that 50-day moving average so watch some of those carefully in that sector some are trying to come on back up and hold those 50-day moving averages some are going to have some real struggles getting back through some of those uh, moving averages in the chart and could set up some major resistance areas in there so watch that carefully stocks like paypal that had that good earnings report and really surged here came back we're testing the 50 and 200 day moving average right in here as a support we'll see if we can hold that area in here and maybe start seeing some improvement but boy there is some major questions that have to be asked and a lot of uncertainty for us to work through here in the market um, take a look at carvana carvana nice recovery yesterday pushing up in here if you're a bull in the market and see a nice relief coming in here this might be a place to look for that opportunity for that to push right on higher here in carvana um, if we look at some of our retail well obviously a lot of pressure here in uh, things like costco um, walmart had um, a nice little pullback finding some support in here um, i'm worried that this may be finding a little bit of that downtrend here in the chart and you can see we're sitting right there on the 50 day so watch that carefully if that were to fall off of that little area of the chart uh, take a look at tyson another defensive sector stock that reported yesterday showing lots of bullishness any rest or pull back in there would set up an opportunity so as i'm going along here i just realized that i'm running this video long so i apologize everyone i was just uh going through all of these different opportunities in the market um so i better cut this off and i better uh um uh get this wrapped up so everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day thank you so much for being here once again try not to panic watch for the volatility expect some big point whipsaws just plan your trading very carefully and don't let this market beat you up in this choppy condition because you're not disciplined enough to um, be very thoughtful and cautious on your trading markets like this can chew up an account really really fast so make sure you're doing um, a really good job of thinking carefully through that process on entry make sure the risk is acceptable 
before jumping back in with both feet. Have a great day. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.